Haptoglobin is the protein that in humans is encoded by the Hp gene. In blood plasma, haptoglobin binds free hemoglobin released from erythrocytes with high affinity and thereby inhibits its oxidative activity. The haptoglobin hemoglobin complex will then be removed by the reticular endothelial system. In clinical settings, the haptoglobulin assay is used to screen for and monitor intravascular hemolytic anemia. In intravascular hemolysis, free hemoglobin will be released into circulation and hence haptoglobin will bind the hemoglobin. This causes a decline in haptoglobin levels. Conversely, in extravascular hemolysis the reticular endothelial system, especially splenic monocytes, phagocytes the erythrocytes and hemoglobin is not released into circulation. Serum haptoglobin levels are therefore normal. Function Haptoglobin level is used to determine whether hematology needs to be consulted for hemolytic anemia. This gene encodes a preproprotein that is processed to yield both alpha and beta chains, which subsequently combine as a tetramer to produce haptoglobin. Haptoglobin functions to bind free plasma hemoglobin, which allows degradative enzymes to gain access to the hemoglobin while at the same time preventing loss of iron through the kidneys and protecting the kidneys from damage by hemoglobin. For this reason it is often referred to as the suicide protein. Synthesis, haptoglobin is produced mostly by hepatocytes but also by other tissues, for example, skin, lung, and kidney. In addition, the haptoglobin gene is expressed in marine and human adipose tissue. Haptoglobin had been shown to be expressed in adipose tissue of cattle as well. Structure Haptoglobin, in its simplest form, consists of two I plus or minus and two I squared chains, connected by disulfide bridges. The chains originate from a common precursor protein, which is proteolytically cleaved during protein synthesis. HP exists in two allelic forms in the human population, so called HP1 and HP2 the latter one having arisen due to the partial duplication of HP1 gene. Three genotypes of HP, therefore, are found in humans, HP1-1, HP2-1, and HP2-2. HP of different genotypes have been shown to bind hemoglobin with different affinities, with HP2-2 being the weakest binder. In other species, HP has been found in all mammals studied so far, some birds, for example, cormorant and ostrich but also, in its simpler form, in bony fish, for example, zebrafish. It is interesting to note that HP is absent in at least some amphibians and nognathus birds. Clinical significance, mutations in this gene and or its regulatory regions cause haptoglobinemia or hypohaptoglobinemia. This gene has also been linked to diabetic nephropathy, the incidence of coronary artery disease in type 1 diabetes, Crohn's disease, inflammatory disease behavior, primary sclerosing cholangitis, susceptibility to idiopathic Parkinson's disease, and a reduced incidence of plasmodium falciparum malaria. Since the reticular endothelial system will remove the haptoglobin hemoglobin complex from the body, haptoglobin levels will be decreased in hemolytic anemias. In the process of binding hemoglobin, haptoglobin sequesters the iron within hemoglobin, preventing iron-utilizing bacteria from benefiting from hemolyses. It is theorized that, because of this, haptoglobin has evolved into an acute phase protein. HP has a protective influence on the hemolytic kidney. Some studies associate certain haptoglobin phenotypes with the risk of developing schizophrenia. Test protocol Haptoglobin is ordered whenever a patient exhibits symptoms of anemia, such as pallor, fatigue, or shortness of breath, along with physical signs of hemolysis, such as jaundice or dark-colored urine. The test is also commonly ordered as a hemolytic anemia battery, which also includes a reticular site count and a peripheral blood smear. It can also be ordered along with a direct anticlobulin test when a patient is suspected of having a transfusion reaction or symptoms of autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Also, it may be ordered in conjunction with a bilirubin. Interpretation A decrease in haptoglobin can support a diagnosis of hemolytic anemia, especially when correlated with a decreased red blood cell count, hemoglobin, and hematocrit, 
and also an increased reticulocyte count. If the reticulocyte count is increased, but the haptoglobin level is normal, this may indicate that cellular destruction is occurring in the spleen and liver, which may indicate a drug-induced hemolysis, or a red cell dysplasia. The spleen and liver recognize an error in the red cells, and destroy the cell. This type of destruction does not release hemoglobin into the peripheral blood, so the haptoglobin cannot bind to it. Thus, the haptoglobin will stay normal if the hemolysis is not severe. In severe extravascular hemolysis, haptoglobin levels can also be low, when large amount of hemoglobin in the reticular endothelial system leads to transfer of free hemoglobin into plasma. If there are symptoms of anemia but both the reticular site count and the haptoglobin level are normal, the anemia is most likely not due to hemolysis, but instead some other error in cellular production, such as a plastic anemia. Haptoglobin levels that are decreased but do not accompany signs of anemia may indicate liver damage, as the liver is not producing enough haptoglobin to begin with. As haptoglobin is indeed an acute phase protein, any inflammatory process may increase the levels of plasma haptoglobin. References This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. Further reading External links Haptoglobins at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings